Okay. Okay. Cool. Let let me um take that away and add a video camera to actually show you guys because I do have some nice time. We got some time yeah. Lul. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure. Yeah, here we go. So this is gonna be perfect actually. This is gonna be pretty fucking funny. So now I'm actually gonna be doing a nice little video tutorial. Uh more like of how to do knife masters. I'm not I know for a fact I'm not good at it. I don't even know if the camera's like good at set. I have like an Ethan cable just running all the way from the router way in the front of the house to here. So yeah. I just wanna like talk about knife like how to do a knife master because it's like yeah, that guy kind of did it pretty good actually. I'm not gonna lie. Um, the only problem is this. Well, for, when the new season comes out, there's gonna be six knives. I just count now because I was so confused. I was like, is this six? Is it really six knives? To be honest, like it's kind of nice that there is very really little, but there's also not really considering that there's not many. There's not that many skins as you can see. Like a full scroll wheel. There's literally nothing. You. you it just goes up until there, voila. Clam, uh, I'm glad there's a lot of skins, like, apart from this. Like, I feel like they shouldn't have done that, including with the variants. The variants should be, like, there should just be these three knives. These three for, for like, this style Clam, but not the winter. The winter is okay, but, like, kind of doesn't really need to be there. Like, I can expect, yeah, they, just, they want to add overlap because of the collection weapon. You got the scar, the casing, and all that, but like I feel like they should have at least, yeah. I don't know what they would do if they had to add like a overlap collab, overlap battle song, battle song, dude. That would be really fucking weird. But yeah, for the people who do have a bit of respect, yeah, just respect on that, dude. Um, now nah, I don't even know what the axe for the axe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be honest, of all the knives that there are, there's two that's my favorite. And obviously, like, from Lord 1 and Lord 2, got the battle song and the Bowie. Now, yeah, I can just show you guys. The, um, the one thing about, the, about doing a knife master that you want to always make sure, you want to make sure that you fucking just, you, you don't just, um, yeah, you don't want to really like, you know, just do like a little damage and then it just... Yeah, the person can like still turn around and shoot you. I've showed it in a... I think I showed it in like the match when I uploaded that other video earlier of me playing. I had knifed someone, but it did like a slash basically. So the thing about the like collab with the knives is there's like three little buttons actually for the knife. So if you take your knife out and, you know, you do left you do a left click, it does like this quick slash, but in the gun range, it shows 100. What I actually calculated, or well, what I, I believe, is that it actually does 80 damage. So you're not actually doing the full damage or something, unless they are like twin, unless they are like 75 HP or 70. Then, like doing that left click, instant kill. But it's so bad that if you're gonna do that, you're basically just resulting in, you're basically just saying, yeah, kill me. So, don't do that. What I will suggest, yeah, this is what I used to do when I did the battle song mostly. I did it to, like, until I got to the 1000 mark. And, well, actually, yeah, when I got to mostly 5 of the battle song, I stopped, like, I stopped doing it because I would get up to an enemy and then I would right click, and I would right click actually. So it does like an instant kill. And the thing is, um, when you do a left click, okay, I'll actually stand at this way. It does that. But with a right click, if I, the enemy spawns in here, so it actually pulls you towards the enemy. So it has an auto lock and an auto aim feature. So if I start down, it aims at the center of the enemy. Right at the right at the stomach, abdomen. You know, you can also just do that. You know, it, it still does the same feature. It still does the full damage. But the thing is, the further you are from the enemy, actually, what I noticed, I've had where I right clicked onto an enemy as they were running away, 
and it did so little it didn't do any damage so yeah it it, it kind of scared me actually a bit so instead of like i like click and i saw the hit marker but it uh, it didn't even take like the full it didn't do the full damage it did the same damage as like a left click that does 80 damage in my head i take it the same way that in blast one when you left click it's a slash so it does 50 damage in black squad but if you right click and you actually hit onto the enemy it does 100 damage which takes all the light which takes all the hp away i can show you guys the best weapon the best knife battle song obviously because well by the time that you right, by the time well actually it shows you the animation like where it blows back still but actually what happens is um, that drawback is actually is actually kind of removed when you lock onto an enemy in game. So it will actually just stab like that. So when you like, so when you like, you know, either press mouse button or you right click, it goes into the enemy first, and then it pulls you towards him, and then yeah, and then they die. But they die pretty quick, much more quick with a battle song than with any of the other knives that I actually played with. And I can actually show you guys another weapon another knife which is the bowie which honestly by far fuck you <laughs> but yeah either way um <clears throat> to be honest you can use your knife button which honestly if all my guys can load there we go so yeah give your gun out to do that ah i see i see so I think I might have actually messed something up here. Nah, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll test it out with the battle song just afterwards. So, usually your knife button or melee button, I'm not sure what it's called, but hey yo, let's just go and find the Fuck you, man. Yeah. Where's my little mouse button? Yeah, yeah. Quick melee attack, yeah. M. I made the middle mouse button to do this, so. When you don't look, when you're not near an enemy or you're not aiming on the enemy and you press it, it's my middle mouse button. I made sure that scroll up and down does not work because I've had issues like that in Valorant, in Blast Squad, where I'm like shooting and then it's like just switches and I'm like, well, that's, that's not good. So, yeah, that best option ever. I actually want to like change the, um, yeah, so like these things. Literally, I actually made it for like, you know, like, yeah, for, usually it was alt, but yeah, I made alt for voice chat, obviously, same as Black Sword and Valor. So, when you place the mouse, when you place the melee attack button for quick melee attack, even if you don't have your knife out, it does like a slashing motion. And, but, if you get near an enemy, and you do it, it does a yeah the full kill actually which is actually a lot better and to be honest like it worked better because like if i knew i must or well, if i knew i wasn't in the range of an enemy so it would be because like sometimes you'd be like oh yeah yeah i'm running you know around the corner and then there's an enemy and i have to shoot but now stop something like that but, you know And yeah, when I flick, it at least does some damage. So like, and I would just you know maybe charge a bit. So it'd be like a nice little slash. And then you slash them. You try and dodge them as quick as possible by crouching, and you aim onto them. And you just you know, you place the you place the melee the melee attack button again, and you actually just get it. I've had that so many times where people just like. God fucking personally. I wouldn't really prone because honestly it just makes it harder to like attack. I'd rather just cloud. So yeah. And what you can also do is what I just did. You just you know slash him. Then you run you run to the next enemy and you just go again. And you just do that. <laughs> just do that little animation dude. But yeah. Yeah, that's also how I like to a bit of like just aiming onto an enemy's head.
Yeah. Honestly, it's just... It takes a lot to practice and to be honest, it, the movement as well. You just have to make sure that you always keep moving. The reason why I don't use a syringe, okay? Like, I have Marathon and I don't have like the um, quick recovery on. I have Assassin. So, Assassin just like increases the range. So I can be a bit further away and then still do the melee attack. But, yeah, of course it doesn't show that in the range. But, I, but if I get damaged, okay? And now someone, and now like yeah, since I don't have quick recovery, I can't like heal up. And now, hey yo, say for instance, let's just say uh, the enemy, he, they, they attack me, I'm like, okay cool, now I try and run away, I, like you know, I get the knife, uh, I'm low on HP, I run to cover, and now I'm like, okay, let me just try and heal up. That's why I'm really gonna help you, because I've noticed every time I try and when I did try one day to use the syringe, I would get killed. Because like I would, even though I cleared the area and all that, and I think okay now I can try and run away. Um yeah. Being at one HP, if some lucky enemy that I wasn't able to find finds me. They found me in a place where I'm vulnerable and I can't really use the knife. I can't like, you know, dodge or anything like that or something, you know. I can't do that. I, I, so, yeah, I'm basically dead. I'd rather take that fight at like 10 HP, sprinting zigzags and then like sniping them. So, yeah. I'd rather just do that. And another thing is, yeah, you're gonna fight. The one thing about doing knife masters, you will find so many people with every weapon in the game. You will find them with V, with, including the ones I hate most. Top, well, I don't hate the Tom's Tom's was nice. The VSS, uh, semi, semi-auto snipers, you know, normal snipers. They're gonna be staying from far ranges. So your best bet always use cover when you're gonna fight when you know they're snipers. So that's most of them crews. You're gonna every time you want to go in mid, you better make sure that. You take cover behind the stuff, you get up, you run. That's why also I don't really, I don't think, yeah, I don't have that perk or extra gear pouch. I love, took it for marathon because I know for a fact it's better that way. I'm not gonna like use a throwing axe, dude. Like, I'm not really gonna use throwing axe even though I miss that. I'm not gonna use any of these. I do, I'll take a grenade as normal because it's a lot better to take a grenade. Smoke, I, I don't think. I don't think smoke is really going to be useful because, yeah, um, blinding an enemy. Wait, can I actually like still use the where's this thing? Take the inside for where's the take the fucking side too? Hmm. Yeah, nah, still doesn't. Oh wait, yeah, that is a smoke. Yeah. Nah, it's still, I wouldn't really use smoke. Smoke's not really that useful. Tear gas, nah, decoys. To be honest, decoys are sort of good, but like no one really check, not a lot, I've noticed, not a lot of people use like, <laughs> no one really checks their maps. They'll like a lot of look for you, like, and then they'll actually do that. What is this? Concussion, shock grenade. So yeah, I think a shock grenade would actually maybe work. I really haven't used the shock grenade. I use flashes because they're permanent and I don't have to waste money. So yeah, because I know for a fact I've had in most situations where it's like, oh yeah, oh, there's an enemy there, oh, cool, well, <coughs> they get flashed, just take them out, and you just turn to the next one, turn to the next one, turn to the next one. And a painter with fucking flash. So I'd rather just keep a flashbang because I know for a fact, oh, that guy that's sitting with the LMG in the corner, you know, in front line, they're gonna be sitting like over here. And you you know for a fact they're sitting there, you go in there, they start shooting, you know, you just flash them. They're like, oh, okay, cool, he's flashed. And he's shooting, he's shooting here, he's shooting here. <clears throat> so, because he's flashed, but, so yeah, because he's flashed, the back there and he's shooting there you jump here you go to the side nice simple as that i've noticed that's just the best way when you fight these people they're not willing to 
they they don't not all of them will think like ah oh, yeah no he probably jumped to the side some people i've fought them they've done it where they stay like that but the gap between each of the bullets is so little and you just you know you can crouch sometimes they'll be crouched you know <clears throat> and if they crouch and they shoot in like that and you can see the bullets are a bit lower then so all you do is you jump you just jump over it you try and jump over it i don't care if you get hit once you, you, you just jump, you just jump again, you jump again, you jump again, you jump again. Until you get to them and you get into that range and you're able to just knife them. Voila, they're dead. You don't stay, and the one thing is you don't stay in that corner. That, that's the one thing. You have to always keep moving. If you stay still for one second with a knife out, you will get shot and you will die. Including when, you know, that's the entry point and you're here. You can run to the enemy if they push to that point, but you're gonna get killed. Including if you're low HP and you're sitting there. So, best, always stand, ready, at doorways. You're gonna be moving side, you're gonna literally be like, cycling between the doorways. You're gonna be like, oh yeah, yeah, okay, you go check, you jiggle pick that, you see, oh okay, cool, I see someone on the map, I also saw them close by, and you see, oh yeah, he's over here, and then you just knife him, okay? You want to get ready and just be on target with your shots and with all your knives as well so yeah you can take a gun out and just shoot some shoot for them but like i'd rather just not <coughs> but yeah i want to what i was gonna actually do was also take the bison and put it for this loadout but to be honest i'd rather just keep this uh, i like i like the p90 a lot so yeah you that bro i think that you'll be ready with like all that shit dude so yeah but until that season comes out i i can't really do much for now <laughs> so yeah i actually want to use like um this character now i think about it. now wait for now we're just not gonna have anything there yeah 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 Wait, 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 um, how, wait, wait, we're gonna make, like, we're gonna make this loadout, especially, like, we need to make it look exactly like, um, what, what's his name? Yeah, we make it look exactly like, um, Chamber from, like, Valorant. So, what, because what I had was, um, I had this, actually, and I was like, yeah, that, that looks just like it. It's like nah it's not actually um yeah how does chamber even look like bro i <laughs> it's been so long since i played since like i played valent so it's like um yeah chamber val valent go um yeah yeah so he's got a white t-shirt tie and all that okay cool so he's got that um he's got that hair back and all that cool he's got the gloss <laughs> Yeah, I think like, wait, there was one that was, um, that like, looked exactly like him. Like this, there, there we go. That's exactly chamber. <laughs> that is fucking chamber. <laughs> but nah, we, we can't do that. We can't do that. Um, yeah, he's got like a black. Yo, he's got that good ass tuxedo shirt, dude. Fuck, how do we make that? Um, hmm, hmm. Yeah, that would fit in a way, but it doesn't. Fuck. That almost fit, actually. That actually almost fit. Hmm. Man, that almost put, bro. <laughs> that actually almost put. Check this. Like, um, you you would think that this looks just like Chamber, bro. It's, it's sure it's not like the the like good looking tuxedo shit, dude. But like, dude, come on. You you have to admit this looks sick. Like, come on. Damn it, man. Hmm.
and the gloves like yeah he's got those uh he's got his fingers showing through the gloves so like nomad so that's be nomad gloves uh now these are SGRs yeah the only two nomad gloves I have are these so yeah Yeah, wait, no, that's something else I also didn't actually know. <clears throat> Yeet. No, he's got some dope ass kicks, dude. Who cares about the fucking shoes? No. Yeah, that, that seems just about right. <laughs> Bro, yeah, this is fucking chamber. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? Um, I'm like thinking of changing this character as well to... Uh, to be honest, like, yeah, US Army jacket looks sick, dude. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie on that. But, dude, come on. Look at that. And then look at this, dude. This actually looks fucking sick, dude. Like, so, yeah. Not rude, but like, bro, it actually just looks better. So, yeah. Bro, why, why is the US Army jacket more, like, bulky, almost in a way? And then you look at like the German army. I'm not like, don't take me along, okay? Don't be like, yo, dude, why, why would you do that? Why are you like that? It's like, bro, look at, look at this, man. <clears throat> look at, look at this, okay? You look, okay, we're gonna like put this on, and U.S. Army jacket, okay? If we put these on, look at that. So now. It looks more like you can fight in the spur. Like I can splint in this. Like sure the boots are actually a lot better here. Cause they look like the actual they're actually tied and they're not gonna like slip off my foot or something like that. Something stupid like that. But like Bro, bro, dude. Those actually looks a lot more like uh I I'm ready. It's like I I'm a fucking king or something like that. I, I don't know. I'll I'll see. I'll have to see like just what I can do. Yeah, either way. 